I'm Johanna and I'm an architect and designer. And I'm Alvin, I'm also an architect and a designer and together we run Polymorph, which is a uh, multidisciplinary practice for design, architecture and research, which uh, investigates the borderland between digital fabrication and uh, craft. We use computational design or procedural design to uh, model in the computer uh, forms of great complexity and we materialize these through the means of ceramic 3D printing. The idea is that we design processes, digital processes or algorithms that can generate shapes that are quite complex that would have been very hard to design otherwise. Things uh, that they look that they're they might be organic in a way, or they're, they, they look like they came up from the bottom of the ocean and you don't know what it is. I think that's something that is intuitively frightening for, for humans, maybe, because we don't know what this creature or, or object is. It is. Is it poisonous or is it, is it good for me? <laughs> I think it has to do with that. Previously, um, the shape has been the expensive part in production. So if you want to have a, an elephant or an eagle or a very intricate shape, it gets very expensive. But if you want, you just want to have a box, that's cheaper, right? But when you 3D print, the shape doesn't matter anymore. You can 3D print whatever because the but printer also, doesn't care. I would say the printer or maybe the printer doesn't care, but the clay cares. So mm -hmm. it's even more efficient to make a complex form than a straight boxy form because the clay wouldn't like that and it would collapse. We are currently investigating how to implement these forms into an architectural scale. And uh, one project that we are working on right now is how we can make these uh, textures bricks uh, implemented in uh, traditional facade systems. There is always so much clay that are excavated when you build a building. And nobody knows really what to do with this clay. Mostly it's just a problem. But what if someone could bring uh, a printer to and the kiln. site yeah, and a kiln anything. and just uh, build a building out of the material that is just brought up from the ground. And that makes it interesting both in a sustainable way and also in a relatable way to the actual context because the color of the ground will match. Like it, it will be from there. And that is one aspect of making a socially a sustainable place because one of the biggest parts within architecture that we work from is the importance of building environments that people are enjoying and wants to keep because however sustainable the actual material choices are doesn't really matter in a hundred years if people think that the buildings are really ugly because then they would just tear them down and those that is an aspect of sustainability which is very interesting to us and uh, it's really rarely discussed in today's uh, discourse and an example is that like the old parts of towns are the most appreciated and this house from the 16th century is not uh, in any risk of being demolished but that is maybe house from the 80s or 90s today is at a very, very large risk to be torn down because people think it's ugly. Uh, and uh, that aspect is really interesting to make things that are precious and then kept.